Eight minutes past five. Now, we're four weeks away from the polls, OK? The general election on its way. But a small electoral war has broken out in Hartlepool today. Now, this morning, the leader of Hartlepool Conservative Group, Ray Martin-Wells, wrote to the town's UKIP leader asking him to withdraw their candidate, arguing that UKIP shouldn't be fielding a candidate in an area that is voted heavily for Brexit. Now, earlier in the programme, I spoke to him. All we're doing is we're stating our case. UKIP have said they're the ones who, who said quite categorically they would not stand in the way where there was a strong Brexit campaigner standing in a seat. Our guy, Carl Jackson, has worked alongside the Brexit minister, David Davies. That was his job. So you don't get much stronger than that. So really, all we're saying is honour what you've said. Doesn't this give Labour a bit of a backseat to sort of look at you and go, right, let those fight, we'll work on the, the, the objectives and things that are, 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 are for Hartlepool. And it, you've just handed them a, a little bit of a, a laugh, haven't you? So, well, I mean, I, I think if, if we're going to talk about a laugh, then we, we, we just need to look at, at Labour's leader. So there you go, that was Hartlepool Tory leader Ray Martin-Wells. Well, that reprompted a terse response from the leader of Hartlepool UKIP branch, John Tennant. He branded the letter as hypocritical and a dirty trick. Now, UKIP candidate for Hartlepool, uh, Philip Broughton, joins me on the line now. Thanks for joining us this afternoon, Philip. Good evening, Gary. Nice to speak to you again. Um, when you read the letter, if you can, keep it clean, what was your reaction? I, I think it's laughable, to be honest. I mean, I really do think Hartlepool Conservatives really need to give their head a shake and get a reality check. I mean, the fact is, this is a UKIP Labour battleground seat, Hartlepool. If you look, I mean, we can talk about the figures, but the fact is, UKIP are the party that can win this seat. The Conservatives are nowhere near. But uh, Ray Martin Wells says they have, on current polls, up to 50% of the electorate going to vote for them. So how can you say they're not going to get anywhere near you? Well, look, if, if they can talk about polls, but I can talk about actual re election results. If you look at the last general election, 2015, when I... Well, that was two camp, years ago. Ray Martin-Wells well, made that point. He said that's these, two years ago. A week's a long time in politics. Actual, but the thing is, Gary, these are actual election results that have happened. Labour were on 36, UKIP were on 28, and the Conservatives were on 21, a long way behind in third. And, of course, if you look at the local council elections, it's even worse for the Conservatives. We were, Labour and UKIP were both on about 35% of the vote, and the Conservatives were way down on 16%. The fact is, this is a Labour-UKIP uh, battleground seat, and if you want to get Labour out in this election at Hartlepool, you've got to vote UKIP, because we're the only ones that can beat the Labour Party in Hartlepool. Now, I probably know what the answer to this, so it's a rhetorical question. So, are you going to uh, be stepping back? <laughs> Uh, yeah, I think you know what the answer to that is, Gary. No. Uh, yeah, and I would say again, I would say very much that it is pointless voting Conservative in Hartlepool. And what I say to the people of Hartlepool is if you want to avoid the nightmare scenario on the morning of June the 9th that we have another Labour MP, the only way to stop that happening is to come and back me in this election, vote UKIP, because only UKIP can beat the Labour Party in Hartlepool. The Tories can't. Now, bun fighting aside, Philip, uh, Ray Martin Wells does raise an interesting point because UKIP have said they won't field candidates in Brexit voting areas. Hartlepool voted 7-3 to three to leave the EU. So why aren't you stepping back? Well, what we've said is where the Conservatives have got a strong chance of winning and where real Brexiteers have got a strong chance of winning that are Conservative, then we have said we will stand down in some seats. But in this seat, in Hartlepool, it's the opposite way around. UKIP are the ones that can win this seat. The Tories can't win this seat. So I was kind of hoping when I heard there was a letter, Gary, I was hoping that the Tories were going to pull out of this seat so that we can beat the Labour Party. On the, on a wider scale, Philip, you know, for politics in general, you know, for, for the average Joe like myself, who's not in politics, this bun fighting doesn't do anything at all for the image, does it, of politics? Well, look, I mean, this is the Conservatives trying to play a little bit of mind games with us in UKIP. And I can tell you it's not going to work, because at the end of the day, we are working hard. We're out there every single day knocking on doors, and we're getting lots and lots of support from Labour voters, from Conservative voters, who are sick of the political establishment. They're sick of Labour, they're sick of the Conservatives, because they're so similar in so many ways. Well, UKIP are part of that now, aren't you? You're part of the Sorry. political establishment. Absolutely not. I mean, we haven't got any MPs at the moment, but there are a couple. Hartlepool is one, one seat that we can win. I think there's three or four that we could potentially win, but Hartlepool is one of our key seats, 
and we can win this seat. If people want to stop a Labour MP being here on June the 9th, they've got to come and vote UKIP on June the 8th. It's the only way we'll get real change. And again, I'm going to come back to this point on, on a wider picture for politics. It's not a good advert for politics. Surely politics should be fought out by yourselves the, and whoever stands in any, any seat on the basic principles of what is needed in that constituency. This just is a sideshow to it all, isn't it? Well, look, this is the Tories trying to play a little bit of games, but it's not going to work. No, but you, you've risen to it. You've risen to it, haven't you? No, absolutely not. We are just simply stating that we are fighting this election. We are fighting this election to win. We will carry on fighting for the policies that we believe in. We will fight to protect the NHS. We will fight for true Brexit because we don't believe that Theresa May will deliver on Brexit. We want to make sure we get control of our laws, our borders and our money. We also want to make sure we've got fair school funding because it's the Tories that are cutting school funding. They're it going to take about £850,000 away from Hartlepool schools. That's wrong. And also we need tougher policies on law and order. We want sentences that mean what they say and we need more police officers on the streets. That's what we're going to carry on campaigning on and I think we've got a great chance to win this seat, and if the Tories stood aside, we'd have an even better chance. But on your main thing of, of Brexit, the, the Tories have really stolen your march. They've, you know, as, as, as since the, the election, uh, we're out, we're coming out of Europe, Brexit is going to go on. And, and you know, the council elections, you, you, you lost all but one of every seat that you went for. Uh, well, I look, spent Gary, force here now. in Hartlepool, here in Hartlepool, the situation is different. We are strong here in Hartlepool. We had a by-election on Thursday, which actually clearly demonstrates the points that I've been raising today in this interview, which is that, look, if you vote Conservative in Hartlepool, what happens? We finish second, UKIP, the Tories finish third, and the Labour candidate comes through and wins. So I'm saying to people in Hartlepool... Don't vote Conservative, vote UKIP, because we're the only ones that can beat them. And look, on the wider thing here about Theresa May, Theresa May talks a good line on Brexit, but let's see if she actually delivers. Remember, this is the person who was Home Secretary for six years. She said she'd get immigration down. Immigration is higher now while she was Home Secretary and while she's Prime Minister than what it was under Labour. She said she'd be tough on crime. She cut 20,000 police officers from our streets. So I would say Theresa May is good at talking the talk, but she's not very good at walking the walk, and we can't trust her on Brexit. If you want a true Brexiteer in the House of Commons representing the Hartlepool in Parliament, it's me, Philip Broughton, for UKIP that can do that job. So the, the short answer is you're not going to step aside? That is exactly the correct answer. I'm not going to step aside. I Top think man. you probably knew that before the interview. <laughs> well, I had asked the question. Philip Broughton, thank you very much for speaking to us on BBC Tees this afternoon.